Hey guys, it's Nate with Sauce Saint the Boss here again, and today is day number 220 of quitting alcohol. Today I was given a lot of thought about how when I used to drink that I knew I was going to quit someday or I knew I had to quit someday and I kept putting it off and putting it off because I, I didn't want to quit. Part of me didn't. Um, and um, the longer I went without quitting, the more and more wrapped up in alcohol I got. And I think the longer we do something and just get it ingrained to us like a really bad habit that goes on and on and on and on, the harder it becomes to give up that habit or to quit alcohol in my case. And um, so what I wanted to talk about today is just, I think if you've come to this channel, you've probably made your mind up that you at least want to quit or part of you wants to quit or you know you need to quit for different reasons. And so what I wanted to say is if you quit today or you quit tomorrow or now soon, obviously, uh, the easier it's going to be. And um, you don't want to get to a place where you're forced to quit, right? Forced to quit because all of a sudden you end up with um, liver cirrhosis or kidney failure or um, your doctor tells you, hey, if you don't uh, quit the drinking, you're going to die. Um, and I think that's in the back of a lot of us drinkers' minds is that, uh, you know, eventually if we keep on keeping on the way we are with the uh, drinking, that uh, we're going to end up in a bad way, right? So, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things that always hangs over your head uh, when you know you need to quit and you continue doing it. And I used to tell myself, well, I'll do it eventually. Um, uh, when this happens, I'll do it. Or when that happens, I'll, I'll do it. And those things would come and go and I'd never do it. And uh, I'd be so much further ahead in my life right now if I had quit five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, right? Or if I never picked up the damn stuff at all. Um, and so if you know you need to quit, uh, why are you prolonging the inevitable? What's your reasoning for that? Because you want to enjoy tonight's drink, tomorrow's drink. You're, you just don't feel quite ready to give it up. I'm not, not making a judgment. I totally get that. I was there. I played that game for for years. and uh, But the reality is uh, I always knew I needed to quit, right? And uh, so I, I give that one some thought. You know, are you going to be better off quitting today or better off quitting five years from now or better off quitting 10 years from now? Where are you going to be then, you know? And um, I think we need to listen to um, what we know is right. Um, and that's a little bit what I wanted to talk about today, too, is um, whether you believe in God or don't believe in God, there's I, I think there's right and wrong either way, right? So basically, um, there's a, a right way to live and a wrong way to live. There's, there's, you know, treating people with kindness and respect is just a good, right thing to do, right? Uh, taking care of your body makes sense. It's a good, right thing to do. And... Um, if you know something is right to do, why would you want to go the opposite way and do the wrong thing, right? Like that's going to that's gonna make you feel bad about yourself. Uh, you're not doing what you know you're supposed to be doing. And um, it just leads us into a um, kind of a dark place, a dark life when we consistently do something that we know is wrong for us or not right. And... Um, so, uh, you know, I, I battled, that was in another, you know, we talk about the discomforts of quitting alcohol versus the discomforts of, uh, uh, you know, keeping on drinking. And uh, I've talked about so many times how the discomfort of when I was drinking uh, was so much worse than the discomforts of the cravings that I've had to deal with and that kind of thing since I quit drinking. And um, when you put it into that perspective of um, what discomforts are you feeling now as a drinker with this constantly hanging over your head, knowing you're doing the wrong thing, um, knowing you're going to have to quit eventually, right? Or, or not. I mean, let's face it. You could drink yourself uh, to death. I thought a lot of times that maybe that was going to be the end of it for me. I was just... Uh, going to just drink until I died. I would probably live 20 years less than the average person, maybe even less. I don't know. But I knew that um, in the back of my mind, if I carried on, that I was going to have a significantly shorter life 
than if I quit drinking. And so um, the feeling of that discomfort every day, knowing that I was heading down a road that was going to end my life sooner, um, was very uncomfortable, you know. So um, I guess what I want to say is, you know, I, I already quit drinking, right? I quit drinking seven months ago, and I've already gotten past the hard part. Um, or the difficult part, uh, which is the first month in particular, and then the second month is a little easier, but that's still tough. Let's just call it, let's call it 30 days, or you can call, call it um, three months, maybe six months. Um, let's call that the hard, harder parts, okay? And the more time you give this, the easier it gets. I can tell you that from my own experience, 110%. The longer you go, the easier it's get. I think you talk to most drinkers out there, um, they're going to tell you the exact same thing, that the first month was really difficult, the second month was hard, but it was easier, and then it got easier and easier and easier. And so I'm already past the, the initial hurdle I talk about. I'm already past the major hardcore cravings. I'm already past all the BS that you have to go through in the beginning part of this whole thing. And to, now it's great. Like fighting the cravings is easy. Um, I went through the discomfort I had to go through and I'm on the other side of that now. Yeah, sure. I get a little craving here and there, even today. Um, not today, today, but you know, every once in a while, or, um, you know, you, you see an advertisement on TV and alcohol and, you know, um, I'm still, you know, within the first year. So I'm still have a little bit of wiring still left in me towards the alcohol side of living, but it is diddly squat compared to what it was within the first, um, you know, 30 days, three months, six months. And so um, I just want to encourage you guys that are still drinking, that are following my channel and want to quit drinking. Um, I used to be in the same boat that you, you're in right now thinking about how I need to quit, but I just, I want to keep drinking, right? I, I don't want to give it up quite yet. I, I want to enjoy tonight. I want to enjoy tomorrow. You know, you're always thinking, well, just one more day drinking, and then it turns into one more week and one more month and one more year. And I did that for decades. And uh, I would have been so much better off had I bit the bullet and just did it, you know, when I first felt the urge to quit, you know, uh, a decade ago and done it then, I would have been so much further ahead. So if you know you're going to quit or you know you need to quit or you know that eventually if you don't quit, you're going to end up in a super bad way, start today, start tomorrow, uh, make the decision, get past the first month and then the first uh, three months. And then once you're, you're where I am, six months plus, you've, you've already, you know, gotten past the hardship for the most part, you know, and you know, I, I can't tell you what it's like to be two years in or 10 years in. Um, I can only tell you what it's like to be seven months, uh, you know, heading towards eight months in. And uh, I can tell you firsthand experience that um, I just go through my days now. I don't have the strong cravings anymore. Um, I look forward to my days. I look forward to getting up, feeling great. I feel so good. I see good results uh, in my life, spiritually, mentally, physically, that uh, I have no desire for the alcohol anymore. Um, I do get a little craving now and then, but it's nothing to be able to just switch it off and, and move forward. And I've learned to control my mind too in the last seven months, how to uh, change my focus, my direction of my thoughts when uh, something negative pops in there about drinking alcohol or a trigger happens or whatever. Um, I've been working on that mind of mine since day one to try to get it to be on my side rather than be my enemy. And uh, I encourage you guys, when you start quitting alcohol, do the same thing, you know, just start switching your thoughts off, get up and do something, learn how to control your mind. And uh, I'd also like to say to those of you that have already quit drinking and you're continuing on, maybe you're on three months, maybe you're six months, realize, and this is what I'm realizing uh, being seven months, and realize that you have already done the worst part of the work. You're already past the hard crap, right? Um, the initial stages, the, the, the withdrawal stage, the uh, strong craving stage. And how dumb would we all be, right, at this point to ever go back to drinking again and have to go through that 
you know, that, that kind of misery that is the first month, second month or whatever again. Um, you know, that gives me a lot of motivation to keep on keeping on the way that I am because uh, I think, oh my gosh, you know, I don't want to go through that. And I don't mean to be discouraging to those of you that maybe still have to go through that part. It's not as bad as it, I'm making it sound. I mean, it's got its challenges, but it's going to be a little different for each and every one of us, depending on how long you drank. I mean, you're talking to somebody that was drinking 12 drinks a night for every night for like 20 years, you know. Um, some of you probably aren't to that level, and uh, it's going to be a lot easier, you know. So, um and that's why I'm trying to explain stop now rather than later. You don't want to get to where I was 20 years or some of these other folks that have been drinking 30 years. And, and there's a success story. People are drinking 40 years that quit and um, life's good for them now too. So um, just think about it. Uh, you know, if you know you need to quit and you want to quit, uh, why are you waiting? What's What are you waiting for? You know, uh, one day to magically wake up and oh, I don't need alcohol or want alcohol anymore. You know, I did that for 20 years. That day never came. It's just pulling up the old bootstraps and pit, putting on your big boy, big girl pants and just uh, saying today's the day. Deal with the discomfort. One foot in front of the other. Uh, don't give up and keep moving forward. And a lot of you guys are going, oh, easier said than done. I know. I was there. I know exactly how it feels. Um, and if I was able to do it, as screwed up as I was and, and wrapped up in it, um, I'm pretty confident that uh, you know anybody out there that puts their mind to it that uh, really wants to get away from alcohol and use this channel, follow my day one video, day two, day three along with me and skip forward to my current videos and then back to the day that you're on and uh, just use these for some motivation uh, if they help. Um, so that's it for today, guys. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please give them a like. Subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.